It is Favorite Things Day. Today, I will be sharing with you my favorite things from June 2019. I'm Kristen and welcome to The Gold Project. If you are new here, welcome. I hope you decide to become a part of our community by clicking that red subscribe button below. Also hit that bell notification so you are informed every time I post videos. I post videos at least three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And on this channel, we have a mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. So I hope you decide to click that red subscribe button and to become a part of our community and our mission. So today, if you've never seen a favorite things video, the way this works is every month I will share with you a list of six of my favorite things from the month. It can range from food, movies, beauty products, planning items, anything is game. So we are going to start off with a movie and I will tell you that I was really hesitant about this movie because I am a 90s kid. So anytime they remake one of my favorite movies, Disney does, I'm always a little bit apprehensive about it thinking they might mess it up. But I highly recommend Aladdin. If you've not seen Aladdin, take your kids. Don't take your kids. Go by yourself. Go watch it. It is amazing. And I was really nervous about it because Aladdin was one of my favorite movies as a kid. And I thought, how are they going to make this movie a live action movie and make it to where 90s kids like me love it as much as the cartoon, if not more. And I was very pleasantly surprised. My sister also loved it. The kids loved it. And I will tell you how much my kids loved it. Derek, yesterday alone, this is just lit yesterday alone, on a 30 minute trip, we had to listen to Prince Ali three times on repeat. My kids loved it. I was really nervous when, I was excited and nervous when I heard they were doing the live action movie because number one, Robin Williams is not with us to play the genie. If you've seen the cartoon Aladdin, Robin Williams makes the movie. The genie is amazing. So I was like, oh my gosh, who are they gonna get to do the genie since it cannot be Robin Williams? But when I heard they made Will Smith the genie, I was like, yes, thank you. If I would have picked anybody, Will Smith would have been the one. He's one of my favorite actors and he did an amazing job as the genie. So he definitely did not disappoint. And here is a wonderful thing. You can appreciate and love the Robin Williams genie and the Will Smith genie at the same time. Will Smith does something totally different with the role. He doesn't try to imitate Robin Williams. So it's actually two amazing genies that you can love both of them at the same time. So I will tell you that the costumes were beautiful, breathtaking the storyline. They added a little bit of the story here and there. The Jasmine's new solo, Speechless. Kate absolutely loves it. So I cannot rave enough about the live action Aladdin. If you've not seen it, definitely watch it. Or if you don't want to watch it in a theater, definitely watch it when it comes on DVD. My second favorite thing for the month of June is a food item. If you guys have been part of this community for any length of time, you know that I have to eat gluten free. And there are only certain things I can eat at certain restaurants and I really don't try to venture out. If I know I can eat something in a restaurant without having gluten symptoms, then I'm not going to try something new unless I'm in a place where I have to do that. Well, a couple of years ago, I discovered the Panera Bread Strawberry Poppy Seed Salad. And I was pleasantly shocked when I realized it was gluten-free. Every summer, they bring out this salad. So it starts in the summer months. It's more of a summery type salad. And if I could find the dressing that they used on the salad, I don't know if they sell it. I'm sure they don't sell it. It's amazing. I absolutely love it. It's got strawberries and I think it's walnuts and blueberries and chicken. 
it and pineapple i think that's it may have one or two other things in it but it is amazing it's refreshing it's the perfect summer salad and it is gluten free so especially if you're gluten free check out this strawberry poppy seed salad it has probably been one of my favorite summer salads for 10 plus years so every summer i like to go to panera and get the salad my third favorite thing for the month of june is actually a youtube channel now i mentioned if you follow me on instagram if you don't i'm gonna put my handle down here on fridays i share 10 facts about myself and i like to make them new ones but i've done this for over a year every friday so i'm sure some things start to kind of um I start repeating myself sometimes, but I try not to. But recently, I let you guys know that I've tried to start doing some yoga. Now, I'm not consistent with it because my time is not consistent. So every day is something new. But when I do have the time, I love to do some yoga with Yoga with Adrienne. She is so calming. It is easy and right now I'm working on the 30 days of yoga so she doesn't kill you on day one which is great she like the last one I did was like just 16 minutes so we're just learning the positions and how to hold a position before we get into some major yoga positions for an extended amount of time since I'm a newbie, I kind of need to learn the positions first and how to hold my balance before we get into extended amounts of yoga positions. So if you're looking for some yoga to do, definitely check out Yoga with Adrienne. She is so calming and I have really been enjoying it. My fourth favorite thing for the month of June is a hair care product. You guys know that I love the Hask hair brand and I talk about them pretty often every time I go to Walmart I see if they have a new shampoo and conditioner and if they do I will try it out most of them all but like one or two I've really liked and when I was at Walmart a week or two ago they had a new one rose oil and peach for color treated hair so I picked it up I shared it on Instagram and I've been using it for two weeks and I love it Here's the thing with me. I have dry hair anyways, so I need a shampoo that's not gonna make my hair even more dry. And the purple one that I was using, the blue chamomile, at first I was really liking it, and then I started noticing my hair was even more dry, so I stopped using it. And several of you said the same thing about the blue chamomile. So when I saw this, I was like, yes, I wanna try it. It smells amazing inexpensive and you guys it works it makes my hair so soft and i was actually able to go an extra day without washing my hair after using this so that is an even more of a bonus so if you're looking for a new gluten-free shampoo and conditioner for color treated hair make sure that you check out this one from hask my fifth favorite thing for the month of june is actually a toothbrush I don't know if, yes, I think I have talked about a toothbrush in the past, but both of my kids were having trouble with getting their teeth really clean. And my husband was like, we need to get them an electric toothbrush. Well, I have a Sonicare toothbrush and I really like it. It's actually one that I got my mom had in her closet. She had two of them in her closet in the box. If you've not seen my mom's um, closet clean out video, her linen closet, definitely check that card above. They are amazing. You have to get used to the fact that when you start using it, it like shakes your entire mouth. So I was like, oh, I can't use this at first. And then after a couple times, you get used to it. So I thought, oh, those are great toothbrushes. Well, we were at the dentist in the very top of the shelf at my kid's dentist they had the Sonicare for kids toothbrush. Well, I'd already been researching them. So I asked the dental hygienist about them and she said they highly recommend them. And she said, I've had my Sonicare toothbrush for six years and it still works great. So they are a little bit more pricey than let's say a normal spin brush. But you guys, you are not going to have to buy batteries. This is Kate's. So this is what her toothbrush looks like. And 
They come with these little skins that you can choose to put on the front. You don't have to, but I think there was like 10 or 12 different skins that she could put on the front. So she's got one and then Derek's got one that looks different so the toothbrushes don't get confused. And they come on this little power bank here that plugs into the wall. So it's got this little dot on the bottom and their toothbrush fits inside like this and it charges up. So when they're not using it, we keep this plugged in and charged up ready to go. So they love it. It's cleaning their teeth so much better and they come with a cap too. So every time they finish using the toothbrush, we will put the cap back on. So this has worked great. I love the fact that it plugs in because that means it seems like when I had a spin brush and this is why I stopped using it because it seemed like every month I was buying new batteries and my husband kept saying why are your batteries dying that fast and I didn't know but I just stopped using it because I got sick of buying the batteries these are roughly 35 to 39 dollars which is a lot for a toothbrush but if I don't have to continuously buy batteries every month and this lasts for six years I've got my money's worth so so far they've been using these for a month I really love them and they love them and they're, it's not nearly as hard to get them to brush their teeth. So if you're looking for a toothbrush for yourself or your kids, I highly recommend these Sonicare ones. My sixth and final favorite thing for the month of June is actually a sponge or it's a scrubber. It's a scrubber sponge or something like that. It is a sponge that I kept noticing my mom had on her kitchen sink and I would use it every time I would do dishes at her house and she finally told me where she got it and it is i got it at target it is the original scrub daddy after i saw these at target i posted a picture on instagram and many of you guys said that you had this and absolutely loved it and there are several other ones that go along with this set but it says at the top it resists odor at the top it says it resists odor, scratch free. On the back it says it is dishwasher safe. It says it's scratch free, deep cleaning, and a versatile sponge. And I can tell you that I love this sponge. I usually don't like sponges, but I absolutely love this one. It works, and when it says it resists odors, it definitely does. So, and it's able to clean those nasty pans that get like the egg residue and stuff on them. Cleans those, no problem at all, without messing up or scratching my pan. So if you're looking for a good sponge, I highly recommend this Scrub Daddy. And evidently they come in several different ones. Somebody said they've got one where it's got like the harder surface on one side. So I've been using this one and I love it so much that I now have a second one. So if you have used the original Scrub Daddy and like it, definitely let us know in the comments below your thoughts. Let's get that conversation going. And those are my six favorite things for the month of June. I hope you've enjoyed all of my favorites from this past month. If you are interested in any of those products, make sure you check the links in the description below. Some of them might be affiliate links, which means if you click a link and make a purchase, I make a small commission off the sale, but it does not affect the price for you at all. And make sure in the comments below that you share with us if you have used the Scrub Daddy and your opinions of it. Let's get that conversation going. So I hope you give this video a big thumbs up by giving my videos a thumbs up. It shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys.